What you going to do, arrest me? I am the poverty scholar, daughter of D, strong black Indian mama, for without whom there would be no me. I say, mama. So we're going to start with our poems. Thank you. Uh, each of us will do one piece. I do want to say just briefly that the Poverty Scholar was developed because like Johnny Cash wore black all his life in honor of folks who were inside. I'm wearing my orange because I did three months in jail because I didn't have the money for bail. And the reality is that if you go into jails now in America KKK, if any of you do, you know that it is the new plantation. That's right. and it is segregation and it is apartheid and every black and brown brother who's in there and sister is behind these plantations walls that we are trying to decolonize every day. So I will continue to wear my orange until they stop criminalizing people for the sole act of being poor, of color, and on the street. Anyway, let me turn it over to Viv for your piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got big corporations yeah. that are poisoning our bodies, poisoning our minds, yep. poisoning our communities, poisoning our folks, and these pigs, puercos. Say that, say that. Those pig lice um, are out there executing people. And you know, like Mario Romero up in Vallejo was just shot for sitting in his car and talking with his brother-in-law. You know, Idris getting shot for just being a human being in a place and having an episode, but that don't give nobody no right to take your life because they feel they can because they're wearing this blue polyester suit that stinks up their booty anyway. So I just want to put that out there. And a lot of those are taking steroids and eating badass food like genetically modified organisms up in their body so you know their heads ain't right already. So this one goes out to all the folks about GMOs. I'm going to do a GMO piece because it's a new piece and Misha, I know you're all about that, don't like that GMO stuff so you know I'm all about it too. My parents are literally dying from this stuff with type 2 diabetes right now. A lot of folks suffering. Genetically modified organisms, organisms. How they gonna tell us that's the mechanism for better living? When ignorance and silence is how they keep us, but in reality it's violence. That's how they feed us. You've been sold out, that's what it's all about. Left out of the equation, conversation of the biggity box food corporation up in this capitalistic nation. Founded on genocide, we're reading pesticide with lies in disguise while every single one of us dies. The assumption through mass consumption of the mass production Artificial flavor through subliminal seduction For your self-destruction through the advertiser Mesmerizer, hypnotizer Now you're picking up prescriptions every week up there in Kaiser Check your food before you wreck for good You gotta check your food before you wreck for good You gotta check your food before you wreck for good You gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta read the label Cause it's a setup from the get up super elastic bubble plastic malamite fructose corn syrup froggy jeans <laughs> Lizard gizzard potassium sodium citrate Monsanto formulated soy protein isolate <laughs> Well you see that little bit of water You see at the top of your bottles floating buggies and your ketchup coagulated Infiltrated and disseminated and you just ate it Cause the motherfucking homicidal corporations made it well Check, check, check your food well Check Check your food before you wreck up for good. You gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta read the label. Cause diabetes type 2, that's you. Now what you gonna do? Blood pressure up high in the sky. Cataracts in your eye. What about the co industrial complex makes a killing on our communities intentionally. That's why we in it. So check your food before you wreck for good. You gotta check your food before you wreck for good. You should have checked your food before you wrecked for good. You gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta read the label. GMO's got to go, you know. 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 That's because we have the right to know. Genetically modified organisms, organisms, how they gonna tell us that's a mechanism for better living. Prop 37, bring it back in Cali now, y'all. Peace. Yeah, 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 give it up for me. Give it up for Queens now.
My name is Vivi T, Vivi Thorpe with Poor Magazine, and I'm a super baby mama. My name is Vivi T, and I'm in the house at El Rio in San Francisco, and I'm with Poor Magazine, and I'm one of the po poets and the poet, the Pobres Popoas Project. And, and why are you here today, Peace? Because I'm here because I'm against police brutality, against our communities, and constantly killing off our families and our loved ones. And the fact is, it's got to be called out and it's got to be stopped. No justice, no peace for Mario Romero, Idris Stelly, Kenny Hardy Jr., the, uh, Oscar Grant, uh, Edward Duenas Jr., everybody out there being killed by these pigs. It is not a good thing. This pig lice infestation has got to stop because it's become an epidemic and it's disgusting and deplorable the fact that a lot of times people aren't connecting because they don't realize how many people are going through this hellish experience. Even in L.A., we got folks out there that are going through the same thing and worldwide, and it's got to stop. No police brutality. Vivi T in the house. Peace. Are you from L.A.? No, but I got friends and family down there, and people are being affected down in uh, L.A. as well as the north on this and worldwide. Police brutality has got to stop. It's got to be called out. They need to be held accountable. We need to make state legislation that holds them accountable and makes them pay for what they did, not just monetarily, but losing their jobs and getting a criminal record for acting like a criminal in a blue uniform. And I love what you said about the pig lice pig being lice. full of steroids, because I think you're right about it. Absolutely. Can I put this on YouTube? And I believe that that's all good to me. All good. All right. Thank you so much. All right.